Sometimes the sun in West Pocot is so hot, it feels like it could boil water. If you could find some, that is. For Chiru, finding water means walking this dry, dusty riverbed several times a day, every day. Chiru brings a teapot. It's all she can carry. 10 miles away and 7,000 feet up, able-bodied workers from the surrounding villages are making an arduous journey of their own. Hacking through dense brush, they clear a path that will bring an outpouring of change to Cheru and her community. Cheru and the other children in this part of Kenya do what many people in Africa do. They walk six kilometers, about three and a half miles, to find water. It's a long way for a little girl like Cheru. The pipes that will bring the water are long too. Each section is about 20 feet. In all, workers will lay more than seven miles of pipe. God has blessed this place with everything needed for people and animals to live a good life. There is water up here, but no easy way to bring it to the thirsty people below. And the treacherous path down the mountain makes this a daunting task. It will take hard work and perseverance to bring water down from the mountaintop. Cheru has her own challenges. She often has to do battle with animals for the dirty water that fills the little hole she's dug. When people and animals share the same water, it's always filthy. The animals may not get sick, but the people do. From a muddy hole to an ocean of blessings, water has come to Cheru's village, and it's an answer to prayer. At Cheru's church, there are songs of praise, thanking God for the provision of water and everyone who worked so hard to bring it down the mountain. On the day the water came, people filled up every container they could find. They were afraid that when the tap was turned off, it wouldn't flow again. There was no reason to fear. World Vision has helped the community organize a water committee to ensure that the water keeps flowing. There will be money for repairs and people to make them. Chiru's mother, Monica, is in charge of opening the kiosk every day. Not having to walk for water has made life easier at home. Now she has more time to tend to the children. And Cheru can bathe daily. Because water is nearby, Cheru and her siblings can go to school every day clean and rested. Cheru loves being able to go to school. Since water came, attendance at all three schools along the pipeline has skyrocketed. Children from the villages are leaving behind the hardships of their old life. There are new lessons to be learned, and not just math and spelling. Having water at school has led to the formation of sanitation and hygiene clubs. When you don't have water, you can't wash your hands. Learning to use water is a big part of having clean water for the first time. Now Cheru does the one-mile walk home from school, carrying only her backpack. No more hauling heavy containers of water in the Kenyan heat. She still races to catch up, but now she does it happily. Cheru's not the only one happy. The community built troughs at the water points to keep thirsty animals happy too. Clean water brings harmony and joy to communities like this one. It washes away the past and brightens up the future. And for children like Cheru, that can make all the difference.